Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic. And the fun thing that we are trying to do today is we are playing a deck that I'm calling Phylactery Zombies. Uh, so we are actually trying to play this deck, which this card, which has been kind of unplayable. Um, so it's a three mana cost, five, five indestructible creature, which is super powerful, but it's only indestructible if you can put a counter on an artifact and that artifact stays. So there is one caveat with this too. So you, when it comes to the battlefield, you put a counter on an artifact you control, um, or as it enters the battlefield. When you control no permanents with Flactory counters on them, sacrifice uh, Flactory Lynch. So one thing is if we're playing all four of these and we have multiple artifacts to kind of put counters on, even if they destroy one of the counters, one of the artifacts, we can still keep it alive as long as like a Scrap Heap Scrounger has it, or you know, a Bantu's Monument has it, or a Metallic Mimic. And so those are our main artifacts that we are playing them on. Uh, so there is definitely a possibility that we draw kind of dead with the Phylactery, but that's why we're playing all of these other zombies as well. So we have all of our Lords in standard right now. We have our Graveyard Marshals. We have our Early Clock here. We don't have all of the Early Drops uh, just because I don't have them, and because we're trying to play a little bit differently. We're trying to play with Bantu's Monument to kind of drain out our opponent as well, be a little bit more resilient, playing the Wayward Servant, and then we're playing white only for that reason as well, uh, which kind of is <laughs> goes against the Flactory Lynch as well, but it really helps with our other card from M19, which is Open the Graves. Um, so Open the Graves, uh, whenever a non-token creature you control dies, create a 2-2, black zombie creature. So this lets us still ping in for quite a bit, you know, be swinging in pretty aggressively uh, and have the Wayward Servant to kind of save our bacon a little bit there. If we have multiple of these, this ends up being really powerful, especially with Bantu's Monument. We can end up draining three life for every single creature that we play or anyone that comes into the battlefield. Uh, Liliana is also kind of just a way to finish off the game. Jasu Vest to kind of ultimately finish off the game but really just because it's a 4-4 great zombie with menace you know like if you have lords out it's a 6 you know a 6-7 with menace and uh and death touch and that's just really powerful anyway let's go ahead and get into the gameplay let's see how it goes and here we go all right so here we are in arena standard and we are playing phylactery zombies and uh <laughs> I've had quite a bit of success with this deck, but I've only played a few games, honestly. What I do when I test out a deck is I go and I just make sure that I can actually beat people with it. And the games I played, I just dominated opponents. But I know that it's not consistent, consistent. So uh, we definitely keep this hand. We will keep this. We have a couple of good early two drops. Uh, hopefully we draw into a black source for this Death Baron, Bantu's Monument. That would be fantastic. I want to crack the Evolving Wilds right away. Grabs an island. All right, so Phylactery Lynch, this is the problem with playing these other colors here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and play this Isolated Chapel first. Because we have no one drops, and if we draw into Swamp Swamp, we can actually play it along the way. As well as this Dire Graph Goal. But uh, we're going to play Planes, and uh, Metallic Mimic is better here. So we play it on Zombies, and we might be playing a Warrior or a Skeleton deck. I don't think there is really a Skeleton deck, but that, that would be fun. But it looks more like Zombies. All right, so Lord of the Curse. So we didn't draw into what we were looking for here, which what we're looking for is land. Diagraph Ghoul comes in, though. No attackers. This creates a pretty good blocker on the next turn. All right, so they'll cast down the Metallic Mimic. That is fine, because we have two Lords in hand. And we can stay a little bit defensive here. Wayward Servant is pretty good as well. Hey, Wayward Servant. Um, and we actually can go aggressive here now. So let's go aggressive. Why not? They will block, create a zombie. I guess that was the reason why not to go too aggressive. Oh well. Death Baron makes it worse. So Death Baron helps the skeletons out as well. I think I always skip over that part, but that's pretty cool. So we play Swamp, we play Bantu's Monument. An indestructible beats Death Touch, so no attackers here. We're gonna receive him on the defense. Plays another skeleton, and these can all come back for pretty easiness. 
They swing in with Death Touch. All right, so these are going to swing in for five. We say no blockers uh, because we can get down this phylactery lynch next turn. And I think that's just a little bit better. So we could play two lords here, actually. So two lords gains us four life. We can actually play Death Baron and one of these. So let, let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to play Death Baron. And Lord of the Accursed. And we are gaining life back, which is pretty cool. Uh, these guys still have Death Touch, and they can come back easily. So we're going to say no attackers. And our main goal is, this is part of the reason that we're playing Bantu's Monument, is we can win just by playing stuff. So we're looking for another Wayward Servant. That would probably be the best draw here. Swamp is not bad either, because we get to play Phylactery Lynch. Have an indestructible 7-7. Seven, seven. Not too shabby. Puts a counter on Bantu's. We play Lord of the Accursed. And uh, <laughs> we're in pretty good shape here. Not too shabby, I would say. So opponent's down to 12. And I think that we just stay defensive until we know we can swing in for the win. The Phylactery Lynch will help us out there. So no attackers. The problem is that they can just block and get them back, and we can't quite do that right now with what we've got. One's playing another... Oh, that's pretty cool. So one damage kills anything that they want. So our Death Baron is down now. So we are going to play Metallic Mimic as a, a zombie to get some extra drainage here going. We play Scrap Heap Scrounger. So we're going to go no attackers again, and so next turn, get, letting all of our creatures gain menace, I think, creates lethal here. Especially if we have another creature to be playing down. So Blood Divination, they draw three cards. That means they're tapped down, no creatures right now available. And I think that with the Lord of the Cursed, we actually can just win this game here. So Okay, so they Fatal Push one of them. Makes all of our stuff smaller. Maybe not able to do it now. But another Lord of the Curse does help us out quite a bit. Drain him for two more. And they get a counter here. We will tap Lord of the Cursed. And we're going to go all out attacking here. So they have to double block everything. And we are fine trading here. So Scrap Heap Scrounger is not a zombie. Yeah, okay. So opponent scoops it up. Uh, just couldn't quite make it work out there we go all right so here we are in arena standard and we are playing phylactery zombies and i i'm not even sure if i'm saying that right uh just so you guys know i do actually have dyslexia a little bit it's very mild but i don't always say words perfectly so sorry about that uh but this is a definitely a keepable hand i'm a liking it and um <laughs> Uh, yeah, last game we played against the Mirror matchup, although they were playing the Skeletons version of Death Baron, and I actually I actually liked it. It was pretty fun. We're going to go Concealed Courtyard first uh, to get it down, and if we draw into a Swamp, then we have uh, mana for the Phylactery. If we draw into it. So, no go. We play Plains. We play Scrap Heap Scrounger. And pass the turn. So opponent is looking to drain us out a little bit here too, which luckily our life gain will be helping us out quite a bit there. Opponent plays Vicious Conquistador. Conquistador. Swings in, deals one, deals one more, down to 18. Opponent has the Fatal Push for the Scrap Heap. And we're fine with that. We are going to play Isolated Chapel and Bantu's Monument. So I think we're in fairly good shape here. What we're going to do is we're going to play that. We're going to play Jasu Vest just to see if they have removal for it. So we have another one. Uh, but then we'll just play Lord of the Accursed and hopefully be doing some good amounts of damage. Be racing a little bit. Gaining life back should help out quite a bit. 
Inspiring Cleric. Alright, so they are gaining some life back as well here. Swamp, not too shabby. So we just play Jasu Vest here. Gain some life, create a big blocker. Wanna play Swamp? Plays a Gifted Aetherborn. Swings in. Gonna be pinging in for damage a little bit here. Alright, so we take two, and we're gonna go ahead and block this Night Market. I think it's actually better to kill that one over Conquistador. Just because that can be tapped in other ways besides combat. And we can kill things with combat a lot easier. Plays Child of the Night with the Life Link there. Alright, so Death Baron isn't bad here either. We're gonna play Swamp. And I think what we do is we actually go attacking and we can play Jasu Vest and Death Baron next turn. And then we have Scrap Heap and Lord of the Curse next turn if they block. So we're going to go attacking. Get that Gifted Aetherborn out of there. Hit Gifted Aetherborn first. Almost missed that there. And then we go Jasu Vest. And a Death Baron here. Have some of the blockers now. Gain back some life. And now our Scrap Heap Scrounger has something to eat from the graveyard. Dusk Legion Zealot. Sky March Bloodletter. We're still kind of in the danger zone. But opponent is feeling like they're going to need to go aggressive because they are empty-handed and our deck can only get bigger and better. Opponent is swinging in with Child of Night. I mean, they're going to gain life, but we will absolutely block here. That's fine with us. You can gain life. Alright, so we are going to play Lord of the Accursed. And we actually are going to play the Scrap Heap Scrounger from hand to get another Bontu's trigger here. Uh, keep this kind of there as needed. And now we have two blockers. And uh, I think that we just start going a little bit aggressive here. We do kind of get blown up by some removal, but we're at high enough life total that I'm not too worried. Opponent goes swinging in with the Blood Letter. Brings us down to 13. Plays another Conquistador. We get a Swamp. Not super helpful here. We are going to go to combat, attack in with Scrap Heap, Jasu Vess. Wanting to kind of clear up their board. I am absolutely fine with them trading in here for the Scrap Heap Scrounger. So opponent decides not to block. We are fine with that too because then we just get to increase our clock here. We're going to go ahead and fire off the Scrap Heap now instead of on their end step just so I don't forget. Uh, we will keep the land in hand, though, uh, just to stay a little safer. We pass the turn, and we can cause all of our zombies to gain menace, but that doesn't help our scrap heaps. So opponent is going all out. They are saying good game, so <laughs> we let that resolve. Resolve. Go to blockers, and now we will block Inspiring Cleric block Conquistador, two blockers, damage, and uh, they're just going to let us swing out here. Let's see if... Alright, so another Bantu's Monument doesn't do anything, so we go to combat, and yeah, just opponent scoops it up. Alright, not too shabby. I think opponent did have some outs there, like if they played it a little bit smarter, but um, we were going to be taking over the board with just two lords out. Uh, yeah, so that went, that went pretty well. Ooh, we just got a Palladium Ores. I'm all about that. I've been wanting to kind of build a deck around this as well. Um, again, six drops are just so hard to get out all the time. Maybe in the Explorer, though. That would be kind of fun. This would be a really fun deck in the, fun card in the Explorer thing. Let's try it out. 
Alright, so there you have it with Phylactery Zombies in Arena Standard, and I did say it right, it is Phylactery. <laughs> uh, but you can see the power of this deck. I really like Wayward Servant with the Bantu's Monument. Um, you, I think the biggest thing you might want to change with this deck is just kind of the numbers. I, you probably go down to three monuments rather than the full four of. Uh, an extra Scrap Heaps Grounder is not bad. Maybe some other artifacts to help with the, li the Leech. <laughs> Lich, whatever, Phylactery. I, I can't spoke right, guys. I'm sorry. We never did get our Open the Graves, uh, but it is a really powerful card to kind of, when they Fumigate or when they have stuff like that, it's, it just is kind of like a, a counter to a Fumigate uh, because they do it, but then we get all of our stuff back. We have so many Lords that if we just draw into one of them, we, you know, rebuild our entire board with three threes, you know, and so uh, super, super powerful. I really enjoy this deck, and I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, uh, please give it a like. If you wanted to, uh, had any, uh, <laughs> if you had any advice or comments for the deck, please leave them down in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.